uncle used to play a fair bit when I used to see him, and I was always fascinated by it. Uh, but it wasn't really until I got to high school, a lot of my friends played guitar, and of course I wanted to be cool as well and play guitar. Um, I, was a, I was pretty awkward at first, um, never took any lessons, uh, never did any music theory or lessons like that at school, but um, we used to jam a lot when we were older, 17, but that's when I started to take it a bit more serious and uh, decided that I was gonna learn to play properly. Um, so I'd just spend hours just practicing. I'd have some books to help along with some of the chord charts and stuff, but most of the lead stuff, I wasn't really into reading tab at the time. So I just learned by ear predominantly. <laughs> Uh, I think it started when I was about eight. Um, I heard Another Brick in the Wall part two for the first time. And I think it was the first time that I actually recognised the guitar solo, especially the, um, when the solo came in towards the end there. Um, and it just blew me away. And I think that was the, the moment for me that uh, I recognised that the guitar sounds pretty cool. Band. We had Rolling Stones in, in our early 20s and stuff like that. Um, but it probably wasn't till after I had children and settled down that uh, probably in uh, 2009, uh, Mick and I decided to get the band going. Uh, we definitely wanted to form a Pink Floyd band and it was inevitable that it would, would happen. We started looking for a drummer and Mick knew um, Jason uh, from work. Um, so Jason came along and saw me and Mick playing just uh, backing tracks and stuff like that uh, at my place. And then after about three months we practiced uh, using backing tracks every single Saturday relig religiously. And we had uh, Detlef come into the band and he was with us for a while. And then after that we got a rhythm guitarist uh, in Mark Nichols. Um, and that was sort of the original uh, band that we started, lasted probably about two years. Because um, three of the guys had other things to do and it sort of wasn't right for them at the time. After that, we, we got uh, a bass player in, uh, in Dolly, um, at that point, and then Paul came in as our keyboardist, and it was fortunate enough that he knew um, a rhythm guitarist in uh, Nabby, and uh, then we discovered Maddie. We went through a few different auditions, but we chose Maddie, and uh, it's been that band ever since. I'd have to say, emotionally, I think uh, The Wall, um, I think because of that first introduction to Another Brick in the Wall, part two, when I was about eight years old. The initial stages are probably the hardest for anyone. Uh, developing um, technique, um, trying to get through the pain of the, the stinging fingers. Um, it's very awkward and very hard and I think for those that, are, that can commit themselves um, to as much practice as they can, uh, they'll get past that stinging stage. And once they're past that and they're, they're committed, they're passionate, they know what they want to do. Um, and I think that, uh, yeah, that's um, certainly how I did it. And I think you have to do that to be able to get up on stage and play. Um, I think because we get along so well, there's no egos in the band, um, we all work well together, uh, everyone's great musicians um, and everyone's passionate about the music and it's all about the music in the end. Um, love touring with the guys, love going out into all the different awesome theatres. Um, it's good fun getting away and uh, you know, enjoying a company of your musician friends and your, your best mates.